As the debate draws to a close, we witness a curious scene. The babysitter emerges to retrieve her jackass from the stage, much like a nurse reclaiming her patient from a Walmart bathroom. As the babysitter carefully guides this elderly jackass down three stairs, one of the most perilous activities for this aged sphincter, it remains unclear whether his slow pace is simply a result of advanced age or if he is engaging in the curious ritual known as slide in a Biden into his tighty whities. On the debate stage, much like in the untamed natural world, parasites are ever present. Observe as a member of CNN appears to be attempting to capture the jackass's flatulence in midair, possibly with the nefarious intention of sealing this Bidenomics butt bomb in a mason jar and selling it on OnlyFans for a significant profit. As the babysitter guides this aging jackass to meet his two biggest fans, she instinctively maintains a distance from the foul stench emanating from 81 years of lactose intolerance and mint chocolate chip ice cream. The jackass and his two devoted groupies, known as Jake, Crapper and Dana Trash, appear oblivious to the foul odour. Jake Crapper, in an unabashed display of fandom, shamelessly begs the jackass to autograph his hairy chest with an oversized Sharpie marker. Meanwhile, this creep makes a stealthy escape with his jarred Biden fart, already envisioning a fierce bidding war on eBay between Robert De Niro and Taylor Swift. He is well aware that when Tay-Tay sets her heart on a particular jar of flatulence, she is willing to pay nearly any price to obtain it. Completely unaware of the impending bidding war between Robert De Niro and Taylor Swift over his jarred flatulence, the jackass is led by his babysitter to what he believes is a victory celebration. Oblivious to the celebrity fart trafficking taking place, the jackass revels in the presence of all 46 devoted fans who have gathered to congratulate him on what they perceive to be a debate victory against the Donald. But alas, there is no place safe for this elderly jackass as fart poachers lurk around every corner. Whoopi Goldberg's great-granddaughter waits patiently just behind this wrinkled old creep, a mason jar in her pocket, hoping to capture one of these highly valuable Bidenomic butt bombs to sell to Joy Behar.